I'm Mr. Pierce from Tecumseh Vista Academy News. I'm here with Administrator Miss Bonnie Corvo. She has a proposition for TVA students. Uh, I hear it's about buyouts for detention. I hear you're a little short on cash, you administrators, this, uh, this Christmas. So what are you doing? What steps are you taking in order to get these students to, uh, I guess, uh, help uh, pad your pocket a little bit? What are you thinking? We've got steps, sir. We, ab we absolutely have steps. Um, I need some cash, and I need it quick. Um, I've got a really bad tooth I need to take care of, so we need to uh, Did you see it? bring the cash in. It doesn't matter how many you get. It's going to cost you $160 flat rate, flat rate, okay, to get out. If I get zero detentions, how much is it going to cost me to get buyouts through you? $160. One detention. $160. 11 detentions. $160. $543,972 detentions. $160, folks. The forms of payment, uh, what are you thinking? Cash or credit. have been a little short on cash this Christmas. I think it would be a great idea to buy your way out of detentions. Well, I think so too. Uh, what kind of proposition slash deal are we offering? I think it would be fair to do about, well, I'd say $21.50 per detention if you're buying your way out. Do you think your rate is going to, I guess, be in the market against the other administrators in the building? I absolutely believe that my rate will be a chosen rate by students. Hi TBA, I'm here with Mr. Bison, one of our administrators here who's willing to do a little advertising for his detention buyouts. Mr. Bison, I hear that uh, you and the other administrators are a little short on cash this Christmas and you're looking for another way to generate some revenue, what deal are you offering the students to buy out from some of their detentions? Well, I have a deal of a lifetime. I'm a pretty breezy guy here. You know, I have 890 students that I have to administer to. So I'm offering this fee for students at $105 down payment, sort of that's the fee that we're going to go, uh, administrative fees is what I would call it. Because uh, there's a lot of things, paperwork to do and things of that nature. But once you put the fee in, you have me for life. So even if your mom and dad give you detention when you're 30, you can come back and see me and I'll take care of you. And then for every other incident that happens, I'm going to be charging them, mm, I'm thinking about 625 for incident. So that's the deal that I'm offering. The other two ladies here, you know, they're probably offering up a good deal, but I'm the main. Now, are you only accepting cash purchases, or or is there any other form of payment that they can uh, they can use? Oh, you know, uh, they say that I'm an old folk, but I, I take any money, Visa, credit card, PayPal, anything. I'll take everything. We were just wondering, uh, we've got some administrators offering, one's offering a flat rate, we've got one offering just a... Uh, a certain amount per detention. Like, w w what's your take on this? W what uh, direction should these students be taking for buying out of their detentions? So this is mathematical based. This is math based. Okay. Well, if we had to make a choice, how would you make the decision then? What are you thinking? I guess it would be based on how many detentions you actually have, or are looking to have in the future, which I'm hoping is zero. But let's say flat rate's pretty interesting. Mm, per visit, and that's pretty nice too. But if all else fails, go with whoever has the best shoes. Have you heard that the administrators are going to be allowing students to buy out of detentions? Would that be a good idea for someone like you? And if so, why? I think that would be a great idea, because I'm just one of those people that I, I just can't go to class. I'm going to take a nap instead. I'm going to... Microwave my mac and cheese. We have a test today, never mind. Do you think that you're going to benefit from a system like this? Um, I, do, I do think I'll benefit from it because I just have a hard time doing my homework, so I always end up having a detention. Steve, you do your homework today? Uh, you, you said I didn't have to do it, remember? Steve, did you do your homework today? Um, I have to walk my fish. Steve, did you do your homework today? Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't find it. I didn't know what questions to do. Steve, did you do your homework today? No. <laughs> um, uh, do you 
you think that's a good idea for someone like yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, me being late for class all the time is just a fabulous idea. Why are you late? Oh, miss, I got stuck behind a train. I'm really sorry. Why are you late? My pants got stuck on a nail in the hallway. Why are you really late? I was cutting the grass at my house. Here's how it's going to roll, sir. <laughs> how is it going to roll, Miss Bondi Corvo? Yes, that is correct, because you have to get in Daddy's good graces here, and that's what you need to do is uh, pay 105 bucks up, up front, and you're, you've got me for life. I really wish I could chew some gum right now. But I can't. My tooth fell out. I've been chewing so much Christmas gum, I lost my tooth. True story. Zoom in. Take a look at this. Did you see it? I only tell true stories, all right? What's that? My house, my house got exploded. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why can't I get in uh, this bio detention? I have the keys to all the rooms. Wait, I don't know if that's going to work with the administrators, but guess what? He accepts all forms of cash. All forms. Let me get this straight. To yeah. buy out of detention, yes. it's going to cost you 160 bucks no matter what. No matter what. What if I get zero detentions? It's not going to cost you anything. Let's do that again. It's going to cost you $160. Stay up front, baby. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're probably offering up a good deal, but I'm the man that could offer you the time of a, a deal of a lifetime. Student records or something like <laughs> something stupid like that. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> I need some cold cash. Here's how it's gonna roll. <laughs> See, you do homework today? <laughs> no, you gotta leave. Okay, we're on, so you can just cut this out, okay? Yep. Just so we don't miss it. Students of TVA, as they have to make this very difficult, difficult detention bio decision. Hi, Miss Baggio, what are you up to these days? Well, I was just reviewing OSR information. Uh, thanks for coming and visiting. Why are you late? I was like a bear. Well, you can see, look at the applications are coming in out of the wazoo here. So, you know, thank you for all of those who have come to the Beeson and Corporations. Uh, I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even plugged <laughs> Do it. My brother got a paper cut. Yeah, <laughs> if the students are going to listen to anybody, I think it's going to be you. You're a pretty trustworthy oh, source. Thank you. How may I guide you? You know what? I wasn't even recording. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Miss Bonnie Corver wrong? <laughs> what uh, you no, you want to earn some money here, okay? <clears throat> okay. So let me get this straight, Miss Bonnie Corvo. You are charging 160 bucks up front, day one. You have to make a decision, partner. Well, I, I can tell that this is definitely the type of problem you like working with. Definitely my forte. You know, the, there's a lifetime warranty for this, you know, and some of those, some of you need some help forever. Hi there, I'm Mr. Pierce from Tecumseh Vista Academy News. Uh, hang on, I'm not even plugged in here. Oh, stop saying this up. <laughs> the, uh, the, the time to come in and deal with you. Awesome stuff. You go fix that tooth and, uh, you know what, put it on credit because guess what? The money's going to be rolling in later this week. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Thank sir. <laughs> Nicely done. I love the mathematical thinking and reasoning. Thank you, Ms. Baggio, and continue to guide our students. 